مرحبا انا سمر قند من ليبيا وعايشه في ماليزيا مشوارنا اليوم حيكون على مرتفعات كاميرون اللي هي واحده من اهم الوجهات السياحيه في ماليزيا اهلا وسهلا بكم أول مرة سمعت عن كاميرون هايلندز استغربت الاسم كاميرون اللي هو مش ماليزي خاصة إنه المنطقة هذه تمثل مساحة كبيرة أكبر من كوالالمبور حتى أكبر شوية من مدينة القاهرة كاميرون كان عالم جيولوجي مستكشف بريطاني في نهاية القرن التاسع عشر ميلادي طلبت منها الحكومة البريطانية اللي كانت تحتل ماليزيا إنه يعمل مسح للمنطقة حتى يشوفوا إمكانية تحويلها المنتجعات ترتفع المنطقة حوالي 1600 متر على سطح البحر وهذا اللي يجعل طقسها لطيف بعيدا على حرارة المدن وصلنا كاميرون هايلندز بعد مشوار ثلاث ساعات زي ما انتم شايفين المكان فعلا يرد الروح وبدانا نحس بتغيرات درجه الحراره الجو فعلا لطيف منعش ونوعا ما بارد في عده اماكن للاستجمام وفي شيء من كل شيء كاميرون هايلندز فيها غابات ومزارع بحيرات وشلالات وفنادق من الأفخم في العالم وفيها ملعب جولف ومنتزهات مخصصة للحياة البرية أو المغامرات الرياضية فيها أماكن عبادة ومتحف يوثق حياة السكان الأصليين أول شيء حبينا نسويه إن نروح على مزارع الشاي احنا بالشرق الاوسط نشربوا في الشاي بكميات كبيرة ونحبوا نشربوه عادة بالنعناع بالهيل او بالاعشاب بس قليلين منا اللي شافوا مزارع الشاي هنا في الكاميرون هايلندز نقدر نروح جولة سياحية مجانية في مزارع الشاي
بعد جولة المزارع قررت إني نمشي على مركز الشاي وهناك في مصنع ومقهى مطل على المزارع كان في انتظاري أستاذ محمد دوراني وهو مدير مساعد في شركة بو وهي أشهر ماركة شاي في ماليزيا هاي السلام عليكم أنا جود and you are my name is Samawa okay my name is Durani okay firstly welcome to Bow Tea Center of Sungai Palace okay we are actually a tea plantation we have a tea garden here and also if you can see here we have a very big cafe for our visitors and customers to go and enjoy our tea so you can invite me for a cup of tea, right? Sure, of course. I will show and give you a try, okay? What are the foods and tea that we have here? So at least you can know what is the difference of bow tea and the other tea. So should we go? Please, come. الحقيقة كنت مبسوطة جدا بحفاوت استقبال استاد دوراني وتفاجأت أكتر لما عرفت إنهم قافلين جزء كامل من المقهى لينا مخصوص. والحقيقة هو شيء مش غريب أبدا على الشعب الماليزي. Okay, see you. This is the cafe, okay, for the visitors to come and enjoy our tea and the pastries and of the also of the cakes, okay. But for now, we are close it, okay, for you, because we actually we are just open a new area cafe the other sides. Later, I will bring you and show you our new wing building, okay. But for now, let I show you what we have here. So normally in here, the Sungai Palace is the smallest tea garden that both plantations have. We it's are, the smallest. yeah, this is the smallest estate, about 234 hectares, around 500 acres. Okay, but we are also the busiest estates because all all the customers, all the visitors coming from all over the world to come and see our plantation here and enjoy the tea here. Alright, so what you can see here is all is the tea bushes. Okay, it was planted in 1929, so I can say most of our tea bushes is 88 to 89 years old. We are not born yet, <laughs> but they are already planted there. So we are still maintaining it. Okay, uh, no, basically we are producing. Uh, we are the mainly producer tea producer in Malaysia. Okay, so we are manufacturing, we plant it, and we manufacture and we pack it our tea ourselves. All right. So this is it. Later we can have a talk. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. As you know, like we like in the Middle East, we really love to drink tea all the time. Yes. So my first question would be like, how it made like. From like where it comes, where it comes from, and what's the processes? So basically, in Bo Tea Garden Sungai Palace, okay, we are planted tea, of course, no other crops or plantation in here, okay. We are just focusing in tea plantation, okay. And for your information, majority or most of our tea bushes was planted in 1929, okay. So it's actually already. Almost 90 years, okay, the age, okay, but it's still cropping and it's still healthier, okay. What is the difference between bow tea and the other tea, okay? I can say that it's more on the quality, okay. Whereas here, of course, when we're dealing with the crops or plants, okay, we have to apply the fertilizers, the we have to do the pest and disease application. All is a chemical, okay. Same goes to the other. Plantation and company, what they are doing is the same what we are did doing here. Okay. But. عرفت من أستاذ دوراني إن بعد رش الكيماويات بيستن أسبوعين قبل قطف أوراق الشاي عشان يتأكدوا إنها خالية تماما من كل الكيماويات. بعد القطف بيستن أوراق الشاي تجف في مكان بارد وجاف وهنا بتخسر الأوراق حوالي خمسين في المية من الرطوبة. بعدين تحمص على النار للتأكد من إن الأوراق ناشفة بالكامل وكمان للتأكد من قتل أي بكتيريا عالقة وبعد التجفيف بالهواء والنار تغلف أوراق الشاي الجافة وتشحن للمستهلك. Miss Amar, I want to introduce to you one of my clique. Okay, this is Mr. Navin. Hi. Okay. وبعد ما أخذت لمحة سريعة من أستاذ دوراني عن طريق تصنيع الشاي 
عرفني على استاذ نافين وهو المسؤول على الكافيه عشان اعرف منه اكثر عن منتجات الشيء اللي بيقدموها في الكافيه Okay. Just now, I yeah. just now I just want I just uh, explain to you about what are the operation in the fields. Okay, basically I'm the producer, he's the seller. All right. <laughs> so uh, you can ask, you may ask him whatever products and whatever foods menus that we have here. Okay, then he will explain to you. Please, yeah, Navin, please. join us. Yes. So it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> So let's talk now about the menu. I want to ask about the products. Like I heard, you even have dessert made of tea. Right? Yes, yes, we have. Can you talk about it? Yeah, it's uh, like desserts, like cakes. We have uh, this one of the cake that we sell. It's made known as tea. it's tea. It's it's we call this as bow tea strawberry cheesecake. So it's mixed of strawberry, mixed of uh, cheese, mixed of tea extract inside. It's, it's, it's especially made from the most local, one of the most famous local tea, Teta Rik. So that from that extra, from that extract of dust, uh, that's one of the greats. I think uh, I think our Draini knows about the great, but even more better it comes from the field. So this is one of the finest great, and uh, it's a strong tea. So we use that to make this cake. So you have different flavors of tea, right? We have uh, different uh, flavors of tea. Yes. Oh, yeah. Good. Flavors in a sense, uh, we have uh, okay. We have different grades. We have different grades, and we also have different flavors. These flavors, in a sense, it is mixed with different types of fruits. Infusion of fruits. وبعد ما عرفت من أستاذ نافين عن المنتجات الموجودة عندهم في الكافية والمصنوعة من الشاي، جت الفقرة اللي كنت مستنيتها وهي شرب الشاي المصنوع مباشرة من المزارع اللي موجودة حوالينا. So, uh, so we're going to serve you some nice tea, you know. Selection from the garden, the best of the best, you know, three types of tea. Um, yeah, here he, here he goes. So, so meet, so meet Irwan. Yeah, he's. Yeah, thanks, Irwan. Thanks. So, uh, of course, this is milk. Yes. Okay. Um, So, um, so Iwan, this, yeah, this is actually the. So uh, we have just three three types of grades over here. So I don't want to mention the name yet, but this is like lighter, medium, and stronger tea. So it's known as the Pala Supreme. is the lightest. is the one of the lightest tea. Um, it's the it's the youngest shoot pick from the garden. And he knows about it because he's more into the field area. So the amount of hard work that they go through in the field to harvest this. So and 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 this is all. This is what we call the Cameroonian Gold Blend. It's it's the blend from only from Cameron Highlands. The blend. It's one of the, this is gourmet selection. The first one, the lightest one. You look at the color. You look at the color. It's like you know the difference. Can you know the difference of the color? So it gets stronger, lighter. Medium and stronger. Probably may not get to see it more clearly from a naked eye, but um, but it is actually lighter. You will feel the difference when you drink the tea. Yeah. So it comes to so now I'm going to show you how the tea looks like. Okay. I'm going to be going to pour it into the cup and see what's the color is going to look like and how the thickness is going to be. And uh, somehow I think I'll I'll give you the first choice. Yeah. You should give it a try. Yeah. You should try this. Right. So you look at the color. So that's lighter. I'll just put the medium one over here and the stronger one over here. <coughs> this is for three different types. So uh, the, the Pala Supreme, the lightest one, is is manly to drink plain. Is manly to drink plain. So uh, give a try, plain. Just drink it without adding anything into it. For put some sugar first. It's for nice. This? I think this one would be the best for it. Right? Yes. <clears throat> so uh, uh, do you want to add some sugar, or, or maybe we can give a try with another one? Yeah. I think I will add sugar for the stronger one. Stronger one. Yeah. Uh, 
mine is much stronger. It's much stronger. stronger. Okay. I have to attribute to this. Or maybe <laughs> that should be a first. <laughs> <laughs> so that will keep you awake for the whole day. <laughs> really? It's very strong, yeah. It's robust, robust, you know. Yes, full robust. bodied, full bodied. Yes. We call this as uh, as one of the most uh, uh, suitable breakfast tea that we have, and one of the best breakfast tea. So I think they uh, they add the milk for this wine. Uh, sorry. So they use the milk for this wine. Yeah, you use the milk for that. If, the if stronger you, one. the stronger one. Do you want to try with milk? I will try. After trying this, <laughs> yes. So good. Strong, you, right? So which one yeah. do you? Which one is your favorite round? I think it's the medium one. The medium one. Yeah. She likes Cameroonian uh, yes. gold blend. It's mainly came from the Cameroon Highland. Okay, Samar. So now I'm going to uh, you know show you our signature desserts that we serve here in our cafe. And there are some that is, uh, you know, it's mixed of, uh, it's a mixed culture kind of stuff, you know. Most of our customers who come here are from Malaysia. Our Malaysian customers, almost 85% of our customers are Malaysians. So we, li we like something that is more of a mix. Yeah, more of a mix. And uh, so uh, Iran is here, so he have brought us uh, some nice, uh, this is something to do with a coconut chendol. It's made of coconut. Coconut is also part of our food tradition. Yeah, so this is made of tea that we call this uh, bow tea strawberry cheesecake. This is the only tea that uh, cake that is made of tea that we have. I mean, from black tea. Okay, uh, this is the salted egg pineapple cheesecake. So you have pineapple, you have salted Salt egg, egg, you have uh, cheese, yes. and you have what brisket. The second one. The second one. Salted egg. Salted egg. Salted egg is a uh, is an egg that is salty. It looks an orange in color. They, they, they actually boil it in a salt water yeah. or something like that to make it uh, more salty and, and it's nice. It's a part of our Malaysian culture food. Yes. You know, if you go to our Nasi Kanda, Nasi Kanda, yeah. you have this, uh, this part of food. We have chicken, we have fish, we have a lot of dishes together with their salted egg. Yeah. So we have, we have added the salted egg into this cheesecake. So with a pineapple and at the top of it is the gelatin of pineapple with a cheese and with a uh, chocolate cake in the middle. And then we have a pineapple. Pineapple uh, is like a, it's like a tart, or it's like a, it's like a jam. Pineapple jam. Pineapple jam yes. underneath, and an Oreo biscuit underneath. Oreo. Oreo yeah. So um, maybe I'll show you, uh, and you can. How you want to give a try? How does it? Uh, which one do you? you which one does <laughs> attract you? I think the one with the black tea. The one with the black tea. All yeah. right. So uh, this is how we. Uh, I maybe I'll just uh, take it for you. Okay. So it's like this. So give a try. Great. 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 <laughs> How great? Okay, <laughs> thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it, take it and go. So take it and go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't eat something like this before. Is it nice? It's so nice. Thank you, thank you. ما كانش ينفع اني اروح للكاميرون هايلاندز وما اشتريش شيء من المزارع هناك ولهذا السبب طلبت من استاذ دوراني انه يساعدني في ترشيح منتجات الشاي اللي موجوده عندهم في المصنع Definitely I will help you and recommend to you which one is the suit for your okay, So please come join us All right Miss Samar Okay so now we are in our Bolti Center Retails. This is where we put all our products in here. So if you can see here, there's a lot of Bolti product in here. Uh, as you can see here, this is our garden teas. Okay, this is the Pala Supreme. Just now we tested. You remember the? This one is the. I think it's the strongest, right? No, the lighter one. one. The lightest one. So you can see the difference of the tea there. Shay in Malaysia, yati ba alwan taakis anwa mukhtilfa. Shay al akhdar, al abyad, al ahmar, aw al aswad. Shay al masala bil baharat wal halib, wa shay bi nakahat al ward wal fakha, khasat al faraula, illi btiji mil mazar al gariba. 
And as you can see here, this is our herb tea. This is the herb tea. Okay, we have the high hibiscus, high hibiscus, hibiscus, twilight rooibos, and gentle ginger. It's all the herb tea. Can I look at this one? Yes. You want to smell it? Yeah, exactly. So strong. So strong, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's the hibiscus. Is this one? The hibiscus. Is that? So, come from a flower. National Malaysian national flower is a hibis hibiscus. That's so why we make it as a tea. So all these kinds like they have to be hot, right? Yes. You have the one you can bake it cold with ice. With ice. Yeah. Yes, definitely we have. Yeah, with ice. Uh, tea, something with ice and all that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have uh, we have the ice tea range. I think uh, we Just go. We go to the, the tea. I think this one. Okay. Mm, and uh, we have iced teas here. This iced teas are, are the one that is where you can drink it cold. Yes. Ice, yeah. Yeah. You don't, don't need any hot water to make it. Just open from the sachet, put in your glass and just put water. And then you can put the ice. This is our iced tea. We have a lemon lime. It's lemon lime <coughs> and this is peach, yeah, I think peach, peach kind of the flavor and mango. mango yes there's um, more mango and some tropical fruit. mixed fruit tropical okay uh, Mr. Ma, I think you it looks like you want to take everything yeah, it's okay exactly. uh, maybe we can get some basket yeah, 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 for because, her yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, can we have basket? Yes. Then you can go for your shopping. shopping. <laughs> Just take whatever you want. So this is our flavor tea. Which one is your, your preferred one? This one mango. This one uh, mandarin. Lime, lemon. This one is the earl grey. With the tangerine. The lemon, the mandarin, right? And also we have a vanilla, the green one. This is the vanilla tea. Okay, Samar, uh, thank you so much for coming here. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoy with our tea tasting, cake tastings, and also uh, I saw, I see there's a lot of bow tea, our product in your basket. We are very, very happy of it, okay? So, uh, thanks again for coming to Bouti Sungai Palace Tea Center. Actually, thank you for your time and I was really surprised that you closed a full section just for oh, us. Oh, it's a small matter. Small, small matter for you. Thank you for everything. No problem. No problem.